Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I just got a stripper clip, or stripper clips actually, for the AK-74, so 545, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how these are used and uh, what I'm thinking about them so far. So, getting started, I will get this loaded. So to load these, uh, I have a bit of experience with loading 556. I actually had to look up a little bit on how to load these because these are quite different than the 556 stripper clips. So, uh, we start with this. This is what will also go onto the magazine, but I'll show that later. Uh, and this is not... the direction actually matters. So this side here on the right currently is closed. This will be what becomes the top when I'm actually loading these into the magazines. Uh, and this is the bottom and this is also the uh, end that I will load from. So putting the stripper clip into this loader you'll be able to see that this little tab right here let me take that back off for a sec. This little tab right here uh, is what holds or will hold in all the rounds once I get this loaded. And once it's in the loader, I'm trying to find a good angle to show this at, which is uh, proving difficult, but hopefully you're able to see that. So now that tab from before is depressed. So now I can just load rounds in here. Each of these is 15 rounds, so just two of these will fully load up one of these mags. And I have 15 rounds right here, so let me get these out and we'll get started with that. So, I'm just going to slide these on here, onto the rails, just like that. And then dropping it all the way to relative to me this is the bottom now but this will of course later become the top so just sliding them all the way down just getting these pushed down all the way one thing I noticed that I'm a little bit concerned about uh, I'm not gonna actually test this but uh, this tab I was thinking like once this tab goes up I wonder if I had light primers so so I don't know for sure if this horn DMO, which I used in my AK accuracy video, I don't know if this would have an issue with it, but uh, I heard that these use soft primers, and when I was uh, doing that video, I did have a slam fire. So I wonder if uh, this tab, when it comes back up, like once I release this, which I'll show in just a sec, uh, I wonder if it would have a, the potential to set off a primer, though I imagine it would have to be extremely light in that case but I don't know it's a potential concern obviously that should not happen I don't have any concern that with this happening here but of course uh, worrying about that or not I do have to make sure these cases um, are fully below the tab there otherwise this won't close up right and um, it's likely that this last round would just fall off but uh, I already checked and all these are pushed down as far as they go so now I should just be able to take this loader off and you can see I actually did not have it lined up right, so that's just a little bit on the rim of that case. There we go, just wiggle it into place there, not too hard at all. And that's it, got 15 loaded here. Um, I actually got several, I won't load, I won't show loading all of them now because uh, I already got these all loaded off camera. So now let's actually get these loaded into one of these magazines here. So to do that, uh, you're going to want to take the loader and slide it onto these grooves here. Most magazines have this, so this one in specific is a just Bulgarian, one of the new commercially made mags, steel reinforced, they're quite nice. Um, the old Izmash, uh, the True Black, the Plum, the uh, Bakelites, I think, also have it. Um, Circle tens also have it. Surprisingly, even Tapcos have it, but I'm going through all these mags because one I did want to mention is like, they won't all have it. Uh, this, for example, is a VMAX uh, Polish mag, and as you can see, there is no groove. So yeah, we do need this groove here to load the stripper clip on. So, to do that, taking this same loader from before I just t put it over here and it's gonna slide onto these grooves on both sides of the magazine 
and it won't go all the way down but just until it stops is good and now I can take any of these stripper clips and uh, so now it actually matters which side I load in of course this becomes the top the side I wasn't loading from so pushing it in here and now it's unlocked so now I should just be able to push these down and they should go right in now one thing uh, I was trying this out a little bit off camera and I noticed it's a little bit hard to start it that's kind of normal in my experience uh, as I mentioned earlier I, I've used 556 stripper clips fairly uh, a decent amount and uh, it, it seems like it's always the first round that's the hardest so let's see if I can get this started uh, one good trick I used to use with the 556 is um, that would work well with these as well is to put this up against something so I will try to put it up against my desk here you'd probably be better off like putting it up against you for example because you have much more leverage then but let's just try it for now just uh, offhand so I've got about half uh, actually more like a third of it in um, and one of these rounds I'm using just regular wolf um, just lacquered ammo uh, but anyway one of the bullets actually has kind of uh, pushed its way up uh, which is easy to fix I just gotta push them back down there we go that was a little bit troublesome I'm gonna try the next 15 actually uh, pushing it I don't know I'll try pushing it against like my stomach here and we'll see if that goes any better because as I said I think I'll have better leverage on it and of course oh that's interesting but anyway this is 15 so now I just gotta load the next 15 and this will be a fully loaded magazine okay so switched camera angles here I got another stripper clip here fully loaded with 15 so let's get this uh, put back into the loader here again same direction and ideally when I was mentioning it earlier I meant actually putting this against my stomach if I do that you're not going to be able to see it so it'll be a bit awkward but I'll just do this against my chest I was doing it a little bit off camera and I think this actually is a pretty good way of doing it so now uh, if I just actually do it like this so that's actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be I'm going to try a different magazine and I'll see if that's any more uh, difficult or easy hopefully okay so now I've got a uh, Ismosh True Black, although the longer I've owned this magazine, the more plum it looks, it lo it's, which is pretty weird. But anyway, uh, I don't have this one loaded, so we'll see if this is any easier. So again, getting the loader on here onto the grooves. All right, let's see if this is any easier then. Wow. All right, so that's uh, the first 15. That was impressive. I was not having very good luck with the... Uh, a Bulgarian from earlier this is the regular commercial one um, but let's see if it gets any different on the second stripper clip so loading the last 16 to 30 then all right moment of truth I suppose everything's lined up I'm just checking if any of the bullets were you know sticking out of the magazine because I was kind of having that issue a lot on the Bulgarian commercial one but everything's lined up so let's see okay, this time one of the bullets that I had already loaded is kind of pushing its way up let's see if it keeps doing that or pushing up but pushing its way out of the magazine again kind of all right so that is all 30 I actually had to load the last two uh, I actually had to load the last two rounds by hand because they did fall out while I was doing the stripper clip because I was messing around with it and trying to get it positioned just right it was quite a bit more difficult I uh, those first 15 had me really excited I was like oh dang it is super easy I guess it was just the mag but uh, maybe there actually was some of that but it's still a little bit difficult uh, that's kind of been my experience with 556 NATO stripper clips as well as you've kind of got to get them well I wouldn't say perfectly positioned but you gotta get them pretty well positioned and then there's a bit of technique to it so uh, as I mentioned at the start I did just get these stripper clips so as I practice 
uh, with reloading and loading them more. Uh, maybe it'll become easier, but I just wanted to kind of make this video because uh, I wasn't even aware there was stripper clips for 545. I never looked into it uh, because before I had the 545, I had a, just an AKM and 7.62x39, and uh, the stripper clips that they have for that work really poorly, and so I just never even looked into it for the 74, but uh, they do have them, and uh, they're certainly a lot easier than on the uh, AKM. Those were pretty terrible, but um, they still aren't super easy. Uh, I might do another update video on this once I get some more practice with trying to figure out like what technique works best. It seems like pushing it up against my, uh, well, stomach, but you know, chest for the video worked pretty well, but still wasn't super good, but not too bad. If I can find a good technique, then I feel like these would definitely be worth it. They speed up re uh, they speed up loading magazines a ton compared to loading them by hand. But uh, I would say that's only if I can actually get them to work reliably. There's a few tricks I already kind of noticed that I may want to try out that might speed it up. If it does work smoothly, it will definitely be faster than loading it by hand. But at this point, I've gotten pretty fast at loading it by hand too, so we'll see. I was about to say short, but admittedly it looks like this is going to end up being about the same length as my usual videos. Uh, but, well, hopefully this is informative. Uh, these aren't too expensive, I don't know. Um, I, I like them, but I just really need to find a better technique, because I was struggling quite a bit, even on that Ismosh mag, even though that was a ton easier than the Bulgarian. So I don't know, maybe, you know, using my stomach and chest had something to do with it, or maybe it was just the magazine. We'll see in time, so. One more thing I wanted to mention is these stripper clips can actually be loaded with 9x19 as well. Uh, these work with a Vitya's magazine. I found that out from the site I bought this on, which was AK Stuff. Uh, and uh, when you do load 9x19, it still takes the regular just 15 rounds, so you'll still have to use uh, two of these to fill up a mag. I don't have any of those Vitya's mags, I don't have a AK and 9x19, so I can't show loading that. I don't know if it would work out better or worse than I, uh, than kind of how the 545 ended up being, which was a little bit tough as you saw, but uh, it is out there. So uh, if you own one of the Kalashnikov USAs, I, again, I don't own one, but uh, I'd have to look at their mags, but I suspect this would probably work because they cloned the Vitya's on that pretty well. So I've already got this fully loaded, but you load it the exact same way and everything. Thank you all for watching, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.